What's in the uh... What was that? Phil Andrew Newton, he's been attacked, uh, felt like he'd been stabbed in the back, um, which like that as well, as I sometimes suppose, but predominantly for Phil, he felt like someone had held his head, stabbed him a couple of times in the back, he's had a few things that's happened to him. John. I think Chris is off. Talk to the gentleman over there. Talk to Stephen. Can you confirm your name? It's John. Is it John? Is it? I was speaking to John. Is it you who's making the numbers move? How? Yeah. How? You are. Right. No, I've just been. <laughs> What's up, mate? I don't know. A bit poked. <laughs> was, he, was he kicked? I don't know what it was. It was. It was sharp again. Come on, seriously. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're probably getting beaten here today. Something wrong, it's not great, isn't it? Look at you, sir. What, can you just explain what's going on, Phil? I've just been jumped in from behind, and it's literally just dragged all the energy out, and just, I've just gone down. I've just gone down. Me too. You got me to I'm okay, I'm okay. okay. Something's messing around with me. Yeah, well, you can sort of. Yeah, I can, I, I can't hold it. Yeah, I can't. Focusing on your face, yeah. it won't focus. Something, something no, to... it's just it tends to go a bit like that when you walk sometimes. Mm. It's, it's, yeah, just how different things work. You've just started to feel different, haven't you? Because this has just come back in again, nice and clear. But I'm in the committee room by myself and Steve's over in the main hall so I'm just going to sit here I've got a couple of devices with me um, yeah so we have an old traffic light system I'm going to turn this on because people know these but I don't like them I think they're poo um, traffic light system we've got the main one of the main meters and just here we have a new prototype device which is called the reactor which is being worked on right now, it's going up for sale soon. Um, and yeah, we've got another traffic light system near the door there. So I thought I'd come in here, sit down, do a bit of call out, see if I can get anything. So, I'm calling out to any spirit friends that may be able to hear my voice. If you're here with me, I've got a number of devices around the room. A number of boxes around the room with flashing lights on them as you can see they're not here they're not gonna hurt you well I don't think they'll hurt you if they do can you let us know somehow and um, but what they do is they let me know that you're here in the room with me so if you could walk over to one of these boxes with the flashing numbers on it'd be really really appreciated if you don't want to do that is there any other way that you can communicate with me while I'm here alone in this room I bring you nothing but respect and love. It'd be amazing if we could talk to you. If you could give me a sign, just a bit of evidence. And I'm just going to turn the EVP recorder on. I've come from Manchester. Now this place is called the Manchester Unity. Which I really, really like. We've come from Manchester myself. So like I say, if there's any spirit friends here that'd like to communicate, leave a message for a loved one that's still on the earth plane. If there's any way you could try to talk to us, could you please do so now? I 
So we're at an amazing place called the Odd Fellows. Uh, we've got Kim walking around this moment in time doing some baseline tests with an SRS device. It's a static EMF detector. It's really weird actually, because when we're over near the stage, uh, we just went near the doors, which are just plyboard, plyboard doors, um, which open the stage up. And whenever we go near them or touch them, we get a big belt of EMF coming off wood, which is strange. Where I'm stood, and you were stood. Like that one there. <laughs> there is an electrical cable above your head. Yeah. Just try raising your arm up, Kim, see if it gets any. No? No. So where was you? St you were in the doorway. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing there. Boom! Thank you. Thank you for that spirit. There's no, it's just a door. Go and take it right over. Is that when you're touching the door, Kim? Yeah. Why is that happening? Is that a wooden door? That's, wood, yeah. that's not right. That's wood. That isn't right. It's plyboard. Yeah. He shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right, is it? Oh. Sounds strange. That was weird. I shouldn't do that. Just um yeah, probe the door in different places and you'll you'll be able to feel and know if it's changed, Kim. By the way it reacts on you. Like that's pretty much how it was, wasn't it? But why should it do that on a wooden door? Shouldn't be doing that on a wooden door. Not there. Mm. So yeah, Kim's just doing the walk around and uh, it's all good. Again, digital sounds. Oh, that's Kim, isn't it? Right, that. That's crazy. Mm. Good with us, sir. Or are you allowed into him, sir? Try and let us know if you're sir. Do you see that then, Chris? Something down here. Something Just a bit of Yeah, he, I don't know if it's a fly <coughs> flying around or what it is, but it was quite a, a bright white light which moved away from... Oh, I saw that light. Did you see it? Yeah. I've got that on film. Helen, or oh, Ellen, we were talking to you earlier on and it was amazing the communication that you had with us. We heard you through the SB7. Is there any way you can hear my voice now? Could you come forwards? Could you have a show yourself? Make a noise, lower the temperature in the room. Is there any way you can actually do something to make me aware that you're here with me? Because I'm not. As you, as people say, psychic. I'm not. I'm not spiritual medium. I can't see unless you want me to see. Please give me a sign. The gentleman called John who's been trying to contact us today, or trying to talk to us. Is there any way you can talk to us now, please? I bring you respect. I know you're a high rank, you're a high ranking member of this society and this order. If that is you, if you just walked in front, I'm just up in the loft filming on record.
and it's all pretty quiet at the moment. It's getting quite warm up here. Is there anybody here with me? for the EVP recorder I've just sat down. That was you Spirit, can you please do that again for me? I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye and I know that's how you come forwards, but... So there was a bang to the left of me. Yeah, I don't think Stephen's coming into the kitchen. This is what it's about, people. Spending the time doing the investigating. Good evening, all, and welcome to Ultimate Hard UK. I'm here at the Odd Fellows uh, Lodge, the Birds of the Pond Trent. Quite interesting, really. Um, I've captured a very, very strange sound outside of the building just while doing some B roll footage panning up and down. I'll let you listen to that here now. <laughs> just come into the back committee room by myself I've got a number of devices which are all over I know people aren't used to this hair but hey ho yeah there's a number of devices in here so I'm basically just sat here by myself while Steve's in the other room um, I've just done a UV sweet brown session as you can see and to see if we can see anything up so keep an eye on the video and see if you see anything I'm just going to do a bit of a spirit box session because earlier on we were talking with a spirit energy the name of Helen Helen and she was answering so let's see if we pick the person up again Are you allowed in this room Helen? As an investigator, I don't know how much shown because spirit and psychic, all you have to do is think out. You don't have to keep calling out. But I'm just going to move around the room so you can pick up the energy. Can your spirit friends here with us now? Would you like to come forwards? Can you say that again, please? I think it's amazing that you want to talk to us. Please use this opportunity to talk.
spirit, can you see this light? Can you see this light, spirit? this line and show me an image. Can you show me an image please. You're joking me, aren't you? What? And... Let's go. I've just turned the reactor on ten minutes ago, Stephen. Not even that. What do you mean, they've trashed our kit room? It wouldn't move. Okay. When you were to hear it. And the, the last sound... I'd summon... was in there, in this room, and knocking stuff about. And it never even walks in here to find out what it was. What did it sound like? Is that what it sounded like? I could feel the energy. So what happened? What exactly happened? SLS. Yes, right. on, the, uh, on the chair, trying to get someone to stand up and sit in the chair. And then there was a mar mighty bang and rustling here. Of course, it on the dick's phone. Fantastic. I froze, because <laughs> it was actually quite loud. And uh, I don't know whether it was inside here or out there. And then uh, I moved the onto the doorway, so skip, trying to get it to come to the doorway. This time it was just, just tingling all over me. Movement around the room. You know there was something in here. <laughs> I'm actually quite frightened, actually. There's a very, very, very cold blast that I just had here next. Look, there you go, guys. You see the goose pimples? You, you can't fake this stuff. You can't. Right, and um, and it says, come on, stand near the doorway. And it was a clack, you know the noise where you were heard outside? Oh, yeah. Oh. But it was that next to me. The chant. It was a near enough... <laughs> Unbelievable, honestly. This place has got a bit of a dark side to it. I know, listen. You actually record, you actually got the, the your clatter and bang. Because I was sat in there, it's all on video, all recorded. You would have. <sighs> it's actually. Fucking bend jump, actually. So where are we? Remember the numbers. OK. 
case I was right. Right, so I've just looked over my shoulder. For everyone watching, Stephen Griffiths, um, the EVP King, as we would say, uh, we do some work I'm with the again. SLS uh, camera in the main hall, like I explained to you. And there was an almighty bang in here. He's actually just come and got me out of the other room and said that it sounded like this room was being trashed. Um, so, would you come over listen to the live EVP uh, recording? Hopefully, it's been captured on there. So. Bernard, can I your second name please sir? Your surname. White. Bernard White, is that correct, sir? Thank you. What was the year you passed, sir? Do you know who you passed? What was your role? Was you part of the committee? The Brotherhood. Okay, 
Can you tell me how, how, old, how old you were, sir? Still the same person, but it's somebody else now. say that that was a, a decent outstanding person who was coming through or because like I say all I can say is <clears throat> there was a ground <coughs> which happened then. I didn't feel negative. He wouldn't let anyone back. He's no, through. it's not him, it's something him. else. Mm. There's something else in this place. in here? Yeah, it was in here. You got one in here? Yeah. So he's going to come into it this room? Yeah. It was when Patricia was um, doing transfiguration there. Claire was down straight over the camera. I just saw a flash on that chair. What colour? It was two in red and a, a, a whitish colour. Mm -hmm. I got like a yellowy one. In that chair? Over here, it was in the corner. There was a big black shadow which moved across the back wall here. And then there was a flash in the corner there as well. Yellow flash. I must have my eyes in the darkness. It looks like this is me. Who was in the other room? What um, made itself known to me? Oof. A pain here. Gonna step in this room and show her, show yourself. He talked to us. He said they're doing the old scary tactics. He was next door. He was. You made a growling noise. We'll be coming back in there. So. Feel it. 
the wind up banging in the corner as well. He do a bang or a bump in here like he did in the other room. Can you do that? Like a bank or a bump or growl. Growl in there, really. It's not built up for that. Mm. Cobwebs on the face. Spirit, if there's any way that we can have some form of communication with you, please use this chance. We've come from all over the country, well, a few of us have come from the other side of the country to be here. Other people, they're still the same, we've come here to try and communicate with you. You've not been given this chance before, please use it. Obviously know how to harness your energy because we've heard sounds, we felt the coldness, we've heard things being moved around, we've supposedly attacked one of our mediums who was here with us this evening and today. But this I'd really like to know. What is being chanted in this video, Spirit? And what is what is this sound? Who is this? Please take note how the camera stays in focus until the moment I play this recording. Spirit, what is that? Is it one of you from here? If you talk to us, it doesn't mean that we're going to move you on. We'll have you moved on. But if you need to go into the light and you're stuck, I'm sure we could help you. I'd just like be here, being here. You're part of this place. talking to today we need your help please come forwards she's probably been warning us or do I he's gonna cause trouble mm. yeah just as you've said that I mean we all might have said you do as well mm. yeah Helen have you been trying to warn us that there's someone here that doesn't want us here Talk to us. Can you copy us? Okay, Spirit, that was you. Can you do that again? Because I just think it's the window warming up or oh, getting cold, but. Plastic gets cold when you hear it. 
really what I was meaning here. The gentleman in the other room who trying to sp spook me, can you not come into this room? Can you touch one of the devices? None of them will harm you. You've made yourself known anyway by talking and bumping things. And he was moving something in the cloak room. So why can't you do something in here? Tap one of the pictures. Tap one of the tables in front of us. In front of us. Was it me or did you hear that tap in there? Where were you? In the kitchen. Welcome. Come in. Come and talk to us, please. You're getting the reactions, buddy. There's nothing on you, don't you? Sure, was here. So I've done that with you through working here. So. I'm just saying, they'll know you through working here. So. I'm coming here again. Eh? I'm coming here again. <laughs> Is that your residency, Jack? <laughs> Was that you making a sign in the kitchen? Can you do, can you do this again? What are bothers in the offices, the old offices upstairs? Upstairs, make a bump or a bang. <laughs> this is the opening ode to be sung immediately after the noble grand declares the lodge duly opened. Red, red. 